In this video, we're going to look at machine leveling. This is the basis from which the machine maintained its accuracy, geometry, and good finishes. If it's been a while since the level been checked on your machine, we're going to show you how to get it done, so stick around. There are a few tools that are required for this job. A three-quarter inch socket and ratchet, a one and a half inch wrench, a tape measure, a one-tenth or five-tenth indicator and mag base, and a precision level. We recommend a machinist level with two vials. When a machine is installed, it must be leveled to a certain height to provide optimum performance, accuracy, coolant, and chip flow. We'll start by making sure the machine is at the correct height as specified on the decal. If the machine is too high on the pucks, there's a risk of excessive vibration. If it's too low, you may have a problem getting the coolant tank in place or not able to get the wheels of a high shop lift under the machine. The middle screws should not be touching the leveling pads at the beginning of the leveling process. For this machine, we're gonna maintain three inches from the ground to the bottom of the castings on all four leveling screws. For large frame machines with six or eight leveling screws or machines without riggers, the middle screws and outrigger screws should not be touching the leveling pads during the beginning of the leveling process. If at all possible, remove all vices and fixtures from the machine and clean the table. Find a spot in the center of the table about 12 inches in diameter to fit the level in the X and Y axis plane. Move the X and Y axis to the middle of travel. We'll set the level in the middle of the table parallel to the T-slots so we can zero the level and check that it repeats. Here's how to do that. Align the edge of the level with the edge of the T-slot. Note where the bubble is relative to the graduations. If the bubble is way off on one side like it is here, we need to get it near the middle so we can check the bubble's position accurately. I'll use a piece of ship stock under the level here on this side where the bubble is reading low. I'll hold the shim steady in place while I read it. I can even tape it to make sure it doesn't move. Now I can read the bubble's position. Next, I'll rotate the level 180 degrees and place it back in the exact spot parallel to the T-slot and sitting in the same place on the shim. If the bubble lines up with the same graduation, I know the vial is zeroed out. If it doesn't line up, I need to adjust the vial by turning the set screw. Repeat the zero degrees and 180 degrees reading again as you make small adjustment to the set screw until the bubble repeat exactly zero degrees and 180 degrees. Now I know the position of the bubble in the vial is zeroed out and that any out of level condition I see is actually the machine not being zeroed out to earth. With the level zeroed out and located in the middle of the table, we'll get started. First, we're going to rough level the machine. This means we're setting the machine parallel to the ground, side to side and front to back. Align the edge of the level with the edge of the T-slot. As the level sits now, the long vial is measuring the X-axis or side to side. When leveling the machine, always raise the machine to keep pressure on the leveling screws and maintain clearance for the coolant tank. We'll start with the X and Y axis in the middle of travel with the large vial parallel to the X axis. Raise the low end of the machine until the bubble is in the center of the vial. The machine is now rough leveled side to side. Now, rotate the level 90 degrees to make it parallel to the Y axis and raise the low end of the machine until the bubble is in the center of the vial. The machine is now rough level front to back. You may need to go back and forth a couple times to get the bubble center in the large vial for both X and Y. Twist and bolt can introduce error in a machine part that resemble a geometry error. 
and can leave parts out around or give a mismatch in a step over on a flat surface. Let's start by checking the twist. Basically, we are checking to see if the table rocks back and forth as we move along the y-axis. Start with the table in the front of the machine and the level parallel to X. Make note of the bubble's position and adjust the low end of the machine to bring the bubble to the center of the vial. Jog the y-axis in the negative direction to the back of the machine and look at the bubble to see which side of the machine is low. Adjust the leveling screw on the low end of the machine to raise the machine until the bubble is in the center of the vial. Jog the y-axis back to the front of the machine and look to see which side of the machine is low. Adjust the leveling screw on the low end to bring the bubble to the center of the vial. Repeat this process until the bubble is centered. With each adjustment, the bubble will get closer to the center of the vial. As you can see, we're always bringing up the low side of each end of travel until the bubble stays centered across the full length of the y-axis. Up until now, the center screws have not been touching their pads. Lower them by hand until they touch their pads. Use the ratchet to turn the leveling screws about 10 degrees and apply pressure to the center pads. With the center leveling screws lowered to their pads, recheck the twist. From this point, we're only using the middle leveling screws to make minimal adjustment. Jog the table to the front of the machine with the level parallel to X. Make note of the bubble in the large vial. Jog the y-axis to the middle of travel and make note of the bubble again. Jog the y-axis to the back of the machine and make note of the bubble one more time. If any adjustment is needed, only adjust the center leveling screws in small increments. Now let's check the bow. Keeping the level in the middle of the table, rotate the level parallel to y-axis. Make note of the bubble in the large vial as you jog Y from the front to the middle and then to the back of the machine. Adjust the center leveling screws in small increment until the bubble is centered in the vial. Remember, only make small and equal adjustment to the center leveling screws. The tolerance for both the twist and bow measurement is 2 tenths over 10 inches. Any twist or bow will cause error in the spindle tram value. Finally, we'll check the spindle sweep. Attach the mag base to the spindle shaft. Jog Z-axis down towards the table. Set up the indicator to measure a 10 inch diameter. Jog the Y-axis to a position where the tip of the indicator makes contact with the table surface in all four quadrants, and then set to zero. Take a reading every 90 degrees of rotation. This is measuring X and Y axis plus or minus. The spindle sweep reading should not exceed 5 tenths TIR. If the spindle sweep is out of spec in the Y axis, use the center leveling screws to make small adjustment to bring the numbers within spec. If the Y axis sweep reading is low in the back, then you'll probably need to drop the middle screws slightly. If the reading is low at the front, then you'll probably need to raise the middle leveling screws slightly. If you only move the leveling screws in a very small amount, you don't need to recheck the twist on bow. Once the spindle sweep is complete, use the jam nuts to lock the leveling screws in place. Hold the leveling screws in place while tighten the jam nut. The machine is now level and it's free from twist and bow. We recommend you check the machine every six months to a year. And remember, for more information on service and maintenance, visit hacnc.com forward slash service and thanks for watching.